Hey, do you or someone you care about have a truck, trailer, SUV, RV, or an ATV that's got busted up lights on it, they're missing, or they won't pass inspection? You might be suffering from no lights at all. So I'm here to tell you with Part Sam's new two inch cross design marker clearance lights, you won't be suffering from no lights at all any longer. This will light up your day and your night and you will also lose those symptoms from it also or those side effects. So what I wanna do is take you through the unboxing, the install and that night display of these lights here. So what we wanna do is jump right into this and check out that night display. Today's review is made possible by Partsam. We are looking at just one of the many lights and accessories offered by Partsam for your vehicles. Now this box contains 10 pieces of the two inch cross design LED lights. This bag will include the mounting plates that will mount to your vehicle. Now each light measures in at two inches by two inches and just over three quarter inches in height. Each light is fully waterproof with ultrasonic welding and weather resistant silicone. The red wire is a 12 and 24 volt and the black is the ground. The lights have a bullet style plug on them so it will be plug and play to your vehicle if it's equipped with the female plugs. Each light has 12 LEDs that draws 1.3 watts. Now these lights are super neat. Let's go add these to our application. Ow, bit me. Much better. Much better. Oh, yeah. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. So we're looking at the trailer prior to the lights being installed and I already had the three quarter inch button holes drilled into the trailer. So we'll be putting three in front of the axle. We'll skip over the Bluetooth fenders and put one red on the rear side of it. And this is the hole that we'll be filming out. So first thing that I'll do is I'll pull the string line and the stake pockets aren't level, so I'll level that up based off of you know the front and the rear of that string. And then I mark our center so we'll know exactly where to put that top screw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this centered on that string and get the top screw only drilled in. So this is a spring-loaded punch here that this is what I'll be using to mark that top pole. So now that we have a mark, we'll get some oil on our drill bit and we'll run the drill at a too high of an RPM until we've got our hole poked through. Now the hardware in these cross lights are included. So we'll get the top screw fastened snug and then we'll be able to rotate the bottom around to get it flush with our string, get our pilot hole and repeat the process. and we'll secure the top and the bottom screw firmly. So each light will come with a plastic on the top of it for the protection from scratches. So once that's removed, we'll start by putting one button lug through. And once that one's through, we'll follow with the next one. Now each corner has a little tab on it. So what you need to do is get these tabs lined up with the inserts on the lens and firmly press it in. And a little tap, that ain't going anywhere. And later, if you need to service it or remove it, whatever the case, these are very easy to remove. So each tab, you can just press one or two in. Once that's removed, it'll snap right off. 
and likewise to reinstall it, same procedures. Nice. So for the wiring, PartsM does offer a spool of wire with the female bullet connectors on it. So this is what we'll be using. So each connector is six inches apart and the tangs on the end are secure so you can get to them very easily. So I will not be using every single connection and I'll seal off the ones that I'm not using. But this way that I can go back and add the lights on the deck side of it too. And if I need to move or relocate, the plugs are already there so it's easy to move or relocate. So we finally got all the lights on and the wiring. Now that he's finally gone, we're going to test the waters on this. Larry or Burke don't know anything about this. Look at this, a two inch cross design light, super neat. So they keep talking about the IP67 waterproof technology. We're here to test this today. So this right here is not enough. We're going to add a little bit more spice to it. So we have a little bit of potable water here. And what we're going to do is submerge these things and find out are they waterproof or water resistant. So here we go. Hope I don't get shocked or struck by lightning for that matter. So far so good. What I think we're in. Hey, we're fully welded back there and water resistant silicone. So I think we're in good shape with that. Look at that. I hope Berg don't find out that I'm, I'm out here playing around. Hey, Let's pretend we're off-road buggy and underwater and in and out. Oh yeah, shoot ya. I'm digging these puppies. Nice. So they are IP67 waterproof. They're waterproof, but I'm not. I gotta go. Look at that. That night display. Now I'm super happy with the night display of these lights. You can add these lights to your truck trailer, SUV, RV, and off-road vehicles. Now the cross appearance design with the lens pattern makes your vehicle much more eye-catching. These cross design lights meet safety with style. Sweet. So to me, those lights are super neat. And what I'll do is I'll hit a link down below. That way you can click on them to find more details about these two inch cross design lights. So I'm pretty stoked about these lights here. I'll probably be driving around all night long with nowhere to go just to be looking at these lights. Super neat. And I know I'll never be suffering from no lights at all again because I've got a source to pick these lights up right there in that link down below. So thanks for watching and I hope to see your rig lit.